What's up everybody? Riley here from Hudson Motors today again with Retro Manufacturing going over uh, their newest and most exciting release, something that I've been super excited about personally, the Dallas radio. This radio is made for 1985 to 86 Ford trucks. So that's Ford F-150s, 250s, 350s, and Broncos. This radio face is a specialty size. It's a little bit bigger than a single DIN, but not quite a DIN and a half. Ford had this goofy setup in these uh, these trucks that we refer to as bullnose Fords. You'll hear me call this a bullnose Ford throughout the entirety of the video, but in these bullnose Fords, Ford made a weird radio face size that nothing fits, uh, but now luckily from our friends at Retro, we can finally fill that gap and make this look uh, beautiful. So now we have the Dallas radio. It's a specialty radio face with knobs and everything included in the face, and uh, we'll fill that gap and mount into the factory mounting locations perfectly. Uh, and I'm stoked. So let's hop right in and let's unbox one of these bad boys and show you what we got. Okay, before we unbox this really quickly, today we are installing this with a Motor 4 that is the Sirius XM uh, capable module and this is the same as any other motor so we're not going to really worry about this unboxing. What we're worried about today is the Dallas radio face. So let's pop into this bad boy and show you what we're working with. This is my first time unboxing one so I'm super excited. I've been waiting on this for a long time. I love these bullnose Fords. Um, they're probably top three of my favorite truck ever made. I think they're great. So um, here you got your instruction kit, everything in there, but really quickly, you got your wiring. This is all very standard that you'd see on any retro manufacturing radio, retro sound radio. All very standard, your knobs, all that kind of good stuff. Wiring, your posts, here are your mounting brackets, but the real money maker is the radio face. So this thing is cool because it's it's much bigger than your standard radio face, but it's not quite a DIN and a half, um, but it's great. It's even got, this is a Ford licensed product, so you can get the Ford logo on it like you would have got from your original radio. Um, so it's really cool. The button style is the same as well, so that's really cool. They're good clicky buttons. Um, and then your your standard um, posts are gonna slide through these, these slots, just like on any other retro sound radio. And then this will all go together just like normal. But it's gonna be really, really, really cool when it's all said and done. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to put this thing in. Let's uh, let's get after it. So like always, we have our little hardware baggie. Don't throw away your little orange bag. These are your tiny little Phillips head screws that you need to put the radio together. That's like the most important thing. Um, and then all of your hardware for holding on your shafts, your input shafts. And then you have two sets of brackets as well. A second set of brackets for a different setup in your radio face. So that's all good and dandy as well. Um, I don't know which bracket setup we're going to use. I haven't taken apart this truck. Literally, I just unboxed this. So I'm going to figure it out once we get in the truck which bracket setup we need and put it on. And it's going to be easy, just like always. But let's see what we're, let's see what we're working with first. Uh, but what's cool, if you can see here on the side in the camera, you'll see that there is like a, a rail, like a modular rail, which will accept either one of these brackets. So again, you don't need to do anything different. It's just if your truck might have a different setup inside of it, you know, you have two brackets to work with, which is nice. But we're going to go ahead and get this put on to our motor four and uh, get ready to go inside the truck. If your truck has is still a factory truck, it still has your factory wiring harness, uh, Retro Sound also includes uh, factory adapters to adapt to your factory harness for your factory speakers. This truck here that we're working on already has an, uh, an Hermosa radio already put into it, motor two. Um, so we're not gonna need these, but this is a sweet little touch there, Retro. This is pretty nice, so you're gonna be able to make your wiring job really easy because these will plug into your factory harness and then you just wire it into your unit and be done. I don't need them, but I just realized what they were. And that was exciting. So this is like a halfway reaction video, halfway install video, you know? Like always, more hardware in the box, our antenna, more washers if needed. And then you're not gonna need your L brackets to hold your, uh, your posts in place because they get held on by the radio face. That's all not necessary. All we really need out of that box is your wiring harness, like always, and uh, your unit. This is gonna be really fast install for us inside the truck because we already have a retro sound radio in there. So none of this is really gonna get used, just the main harness, and uh, it'll be really easy. All right, just like that, we got our radio. Um, and then out the back, everything that you're, all the standard stuff that you're used to, plus your Sirius XM input, you buy that antenna, um, there is a rebate that you can get to get that antenna for cheap. So um, you got your CXM XM input, two USB inputs, your, rate, your antenna, your USB, and then all your line outs for your amplifier and subwoofer and all that kind of good stuff. So let's, uh, let's toss this bad boy in the truck. All 
All right, we're inside the truck here. Um, as you can see, we already have installed a long time ago uh, in this very Bronco, we installed this like classic retro radio. This is like the standard radio that you see all the time. Uh, we chose the faceplate and the knobs and all that kind of stuff. And uh, it worked out great, but it, again, it, it didn't fit perfectly as you can see in the opening. And now the Dallas radio is gonna solve that. So th this part of this video is gonna be the easiest thing ever because again, the harness is shared across all of these vehicles, across all the radios. So since this is already installed, I don't have to do anything but just plug it back in. So again, I'm just gonna pull this guy out. All right, simple as that, it's out. Now, the only thing that I'm gonna change here from one to the next is this is the old harness and the harness is gonna change. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove this because our motor, we're going from a motor two to a motor four. We're gonna just replace the main harness with the motor two harness up to the motor four. It's slightly different because of the Sirius XM. However, the sub harnesses, uh, they're the same. So these are just gonna plug right back in in the exact same spots and boom, just like that, we're ready to, to do the swap. Now I'm gonna grab both of our sets of brackets and compare them for you so you can see which bracket you're gonna be using in your application. But just looking at this, I already know which bracket I'm gonna use, but let me show you. So here you can see we've got two different sets of brackets. Uh, they're gonna go on, like I said before, here on these modular rails here. Um, but if you just held these up, they're obviously marked left and right. They're going to sandwich this radio like so, okay? So hopefully this is all making sense and you can see it on camera, but that's gonna sandwich like this or this other radio brackets. Same thing, they're marked left and right, and they would sandwich the brackets, they would sandwich the radio like this. Okay, so quickly, holding these up to our radio face, to our, to our mounting face, you can already see really quickly that this is the one I'm gonna use. It even has the guide pin that fits into the factory guide pin hole. It, they couldn't have made it any easier for you. They're gonna go in just like that. And then down here, it's got the other guide pin. So these are gonna be the brackets that I'm gonna use in this truck, but maybe in your truck, you use this other set of brackets. Retro has included both sets for us, but we're not gonna use those today. We're gonna use the smaller set, but I dropped one. I'm great on camera, guys, just the best. Okay, so again, pull these off. We're gonna sink these. They kind of snap into place nicely, which I appreciate that. It's really well designed. Screw them down with the four supplied stainless steel machine screws. They're kind of the, the second smallest screw that they include, but they're four stainless screws. We're gonna plug this all back together now. And uh, before we go putting this in and buttoning up everything, I always check that the radio turns on and everything's good to go before we do that so that you're not having to take apart your dash twice. So, key on. Let's see what goes down. There we go, got our radio, got power. And then we'll hold the power button until we get our retro sound come up. Our radio will kick on. Make sure we got, let me shut my door so you guys don't have to listen to the beep. My heavens, Fords, man, I love them. There we go, go Foo Fighters. Can't ask for anything better than that. Okay, so again, volume on the right side, tuner on the left, and you can switch between modes with this, the, this little uh, tab up here. So I love that Bluetooth audio, everything will work out just perfect. So let's uh, bolt it down and put it back together, see what she looks like. Cause that's really the main test is what's the fit and finish like? Is this gonna line up properly with our factory gauge bezel? And I've got a feeling like it's gonna line up perfectly fine. So let's go ahead and button it all back up. Let's, uh, let's see how she lines up. And then just like that, she's all put back together to peel off her little sticky, a little screen protector. And dude, that looks, that looks incredible. It looks so factory, especially the Ford emblem that they got on there. And then they even used the factory fonts for tune and band and volume and stereo. No, this is the perfect OEM plus improvement that you can make on your bullnose if you still want that classic feel, or even if your bullnose is highly modified, like nothing fits properly in these dashes, nothing. You might find a single DIN radio with a touch screen, you know, like 
that that fits in there whatever but you block off a lot of this kind of stuff like this is the best option for you you're going to get bluetooth you're going to get sirius xm and it looks classic it looks vintage you keep that vintage feel and uh yeah so whether your your bullnose is factory and original and you don't want it to go away but you'd like to be able to connect your phone and listen to your own music or you've got a highly mod modified bullnose either way this is the best thing for you uh, it's killer and I love the knobs, I love the buttons, I love how factory it looks and it's just, it's just freaking cool. So, um, I love them man. I, again, let's turn it on one more time and, and just see it. But yeah, just an overall great product. Fit and finish is perfect. Uh, fits in there so easy. So again, this is, this is the best radio install that you can do for sure on a Bullnose Ford. So, yeah, and there we go. Just, you got your stuff and, and just go in, tune your radio, turn over to Bluetooth mode if you want to. and. You know, Sirius XM, everything, your aux, you've got two USB outputs, all that kind of good stuff. So, again, super cool. All right, guys, with, that, with all that being said, um, the Dallas radio is available now. You can get it on their website, retrosound.com. And, uh, yeah, that's just too stinking cool. So go on. If you've got a bullnose, go grab yourself one. You're not going to regret it. It's the best mod you can do uh, to, to be able to listen to your radio and drive your trucks more. So go on, get one, and uh, we appreciate you guys watching this video. If you like this video, make sure you click subscribe. Check us out, retrosound.com. We also offer really nice seat belts from Retro Belt, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and thanks for watching. For more cool classic truck content, you can follow me uh, on here on YouTube, Hots, at Hots and Motors. Yeah, we appreciate you guys watching, and, and we'll catch you on the next one.